Victory Road. Everybody has a story to tell. How you got to heaven when you came from hell. Victory Road. We're Hi, and welcome to another fabulous episode of Victory Road. If you miss us live, you can always catch us later on my website at leebenton.org, O-R-G. And I just want to open up with a few wonderful verses about victory. There's so many verses about victory and how to have victory in your life. But in 1 Corinthians 15, 57, it says, But give thanks to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And in Proverbs 24, 6, an abundance of counselors, there is victory. There's so many verses on victory, how to get your victory. If you've gotten off track and you've gone down a wrong, dark path, this show is designed to help you get your victory back in your life. And today I have a fabulous, exciting guest. He's a dear friend of mine. I've known him for very many years. He's an actor, producer, director, writer, musician. Um, and I'm going to let him tell you his story. But before he goes into that, just to tell you a little bit, a little bit prior to that story, he's got amazing stamina and strength and tenacity because he was born in Louisville, Kentucky, hitched hike at the age of 17 to Nashville, Tennessee, and that's where he got his chops and, and his passion for music and became a big hit in Tennessee and started writing for songs uh, for, for TV shows such as Hee Haw, uh, Johnny Carson, The Tonight Show, the list is endless, and came to Los Angeles in 1985 with no formal education on film or television and started writing, producing, directing, starring in films immediately. It became just the big hit in Hollywood, took over Hollywood. And I mean, he's been going nonstop since. And I'm going to let him tell you the rest. Please meet my dear friend, David Hevner. Welcome, David. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lee. You always make me sound better than I really am. No, you are. You are that good. <laughs> and he's done over 30. He has produced and directed and starred in over 33 films mm -hmm. that yeah. you wrote and produced. Mm -hmm. And right. by the way, I was in one of them. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. And you're going to be in more of them. Yes. You're going to be in more of them. It's great to be here. It really and is. And I'm so happy to have and, you here. And I'm so proud of you. You know, I remember the day you called me. You said you were, you were in sick in bed. Yeah. And we prayed for I you. I had had surgery. Right. And, and I said, Lee, God has told me that your ministry is going to go bigger and better than it ever has. You did. And, and we prayed about it. And all of a sudden, we decided on CBS. We started that together. Yes. And he helped me launch CBS Studios ministry. And, and I, I've seen where you've come from here. And God just keeps bringing you up. Yeah. Because you have a heart to carry the gospel. Thank you. And that's what we really need in this business. And so... That, that's what brings me here today, and that's why I wanted to be with you, is because uh, the biggest victory in my life has been when God took my Christian walk and my business life, my filmmaking life, and he brought it together, and it's called integrity, integration, mm. when I became one. Mm. You know, a lot of people talk about, I was saved on this date. You know, they have a mm -hmm. date in their mind they were yeah. saved. I don't have that date because I was like seven years old or something, you know. When so he I, says saved, I just want to explain it to some of you. Saved means what we do at the end of our show. We pray the RSVP prayer. It means accepting Jesus as your Savior. That's what saved and salvation means. I just wanted to. Thank you. No, I, I needed to hear that because I, sometimes I forget. But, <laughs> um, but the thing is, is, is uh, um, <clears throat> as I realized that I, God had, had given me integrity, I realized that was more important to me than the day I was saved, because again, I was really young, you know. Mm -hmm. And so people ask me, they say, when, tell me about your salvation experience. 
And I say, no, let me tell you about my integration experience. Yes, your the, walk. My, the day I became integrated was the day God gave me the power that he gives each and every one of us mm. to, to actually carry forth the gospel. That's my victory. And that happened about five years ago. That was about five years ago. I was uh, back east. I was in Texas. And I was, I was trying to get away. Lee, you know, I did so many movies. I, I became lost, you know as a lot of people do. You, so many people you, in Hollywood do. Well, because you build this world of yes. People, they like you, and, or you think they like you, mm -hmm. right? But then when you start falling from the top, uh, wherever that top was for me, uh, all of a sudden, maybe someone won't take your phone call, or someone treats you a little differently. And I was seeing that, and you know, you hear about it, especially from the big stars I'd worked yeah. with, which you're going to see later, Tony Curtis and, and all these guys. They said, David, don't ever let this become you. Mm -hmm. you, you are you, and Thank that is you. what that is. But, you know, you don't, it, it, you don't apply it to yourself when it's happening. So I saw all this happening, and I said, you know, I got, I'm going to go away. I'd rather people to think that I just moved away to a ranch on Tennessee uh, then I just, uh, you know, uh, uh, got, uh, failed in the business, okay? Yes. Because you reach a certain plateau, and if you're not walking with God, especially if you're a Christian, God will take care of that. He Absolutely. will make sure that, that there's a stumble and a fall, and that's what happened to me. He has a way of humbling us he, out, I say. He has a way of humbling us. So, mm -hmm. so I ran away, and uh, after a certain a chain of events, I came back, and you and I connected. Uh, you remember... We were talking about that. Matter of fact, you were one of the we first people. We reconnected. We yes. reconnected, and it's very interesting because you're a Christian and I'm a believer, and God brings. And remember, I said to you, I said we're moving into a timely where God is bringing people together now. Absolutely. Together, it's very important geographically that we're together, and also spiritually because mm -hmm. now the power is going to manifest. Boom. A team. A team, that's right. He's building a big force, a big army. I really believe it. Nothing is a coincidence with God. Nothing is a coincidence. And I think I met David in 19... I think you were doing a film called Twisted Justice. Right. Was with Eric Estrada and Shannon Tweed. Um, yeah. Yes, I think that's when I first met you. And, and then, uh, anyway, we were so busy. I, I don't know if I was working on my show then or what, but I, I think I was. And, no, my show had just been canceled on my camera, and then I met you. And then, anyway, you, were, you have produced so much. And um, you know what I'd like to do real quick? Um, I'd like to take a minute break, and I'd like to go right to our Victory Road Band. We have our fabulous Phil Jones, Anthony Salerno, and we have a guest today, Brent Hevener who is David Hevner's son, and I'm so excited to hear a great song from our Victory Road Band. And then we'll, don't go away, come right back, because we're going to see some clips on David Hevner and hear more of his exciting victory story. <laughs> I will sing to you, for you have won over everything. All my troubles are thrown into the sea. I will sing to you, for you have won over everything. All my troubles are thrown into the sea. For you, my love, my strength, my song. Now come and set my heart free. Now you, my love. My strength, my song, now come and set my heart free. To you alone, I'll give my all to one I love. We'll always love to you alone. I give my praise to you, my heart will rise and sing. Oh, 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 oh. I will dance for you, for you have made this joy of me. All my past and worry are gone away. I will dance for you, for you have made this joy in me. All my past and worry are gone away. 
for you, my love, my strength, my song. Now come and set my heart free. Yeah. And you, my love, my strength, my song. Now come and set my heart free. I am so blessed to have these wonderful, wonderful ah, singers and musicians. Great. What a blessing. Yeah. You know, and I was looking over at David, and um, I just feel like God brought you in my life as a special gift. I really do. Oh, that's so I just sweet. heard that you were a gift to me. Oh. I'm not going to cry, because um, I have been known to cry a few times on the show, <laughs> but you are a gift. And I just, um, just everything that you were what you're doing, what you're doing, and what you're birthing now into this nation and across the world, how God is using you. I want to show you, oh yeah, okay, now this is your uh, radio oh, the, show. Oh yeah, this is, this is the radio show. Yeah, and this Revelation is, radio show. Right, Revelation is the new c community. I call it a community because everyone's welcome, Lee. But once you get into the community, that's when we start sharing the love of God. But, but I want everybody. So everybody's welcome to Revelation. Okay? I love it. And then, of course... And we're going to explain that website, yeah. hopefully. And Revelation Radio is a part of the Revelation, Revelation movement Studio, because okay. I'm going to be able to get, have a lot of people on. And what on. is this? Is this a clip from this? your... No, no, this is the website, which hasn't launched yet. And you'll be able to click it. Anyone who's an artist can click the star page, put their photo and their bio up on the star page. So I'll have people internationally coming from all over to be in this community all over, artists, and, and not, you don't even have to be an artist. You can be so an you don't have to be in show business? You don't. No, absolutely So they not. can go to your website? Yes, absolutely. And you click on the star page, you get your own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in the Revelation community, and you don't know. I believe that mothers, there's mothers out there to me, mothers and fathers that are stars. They need a absolutely. star. Absolutely. We're all walk stars of, in God's that's, eyes. Absolutely. Abs and you, know? you said that, uh, that they could actually... Um, promote their products if they have anything to sell on there as, as well. That's right. I should let you talk about that. Well, our mission statement is to help artists discover, uh, enhance, and promote their gifts. Now, when I say artists, it could be a singer, it could be an actor, it could be an entrepreneur of any sort. It Dancer, could make up writers. Ar artist. It could be, yes. There's, you know, art is, is, a, is very, very misconceived. You know, mm -hmm. God cre gave us a gift, mm -hmm. and our gift is the art, okay? But we think of art as, oh, I can sing, or I can dance. Right? No, art covers no. many creative covers avenues. Many yeah. creative. Go to, we were talking about Egypt. Go to Egypt, and they, they have, you see art for what it is. Yeah. I mean, they got beautiful art there. They got little, these uh, little perfume bottles is art. I mean, I see art there. It's all over the place. These chairs you're sitting in are art. This is a piece of art. I That's love art. this set here. Now, um, now your Revelation TV show also, um, Re has, has that come about yet we or is start, that starting? We'll start that in a couple of months. Okay. okay. Let me back up just a little bit and I'll tell you. I went to Atlanta, Georgia, which is where I'm located now. Okay. okay. Yes, Did he it, left us. I, he left us here in Los well, Angeles. Well, listen. Or Hollywood, it, temporarily. To, yeah, you just have to listen to God. That's the thing. That's you know? it. But I, I went in and knew no one, and I made one phone call, and it was a gentleman with the Southern Baptist uh, uh, Association of Georgia. And he, brought, he said, we've been praying for a person to, to minister to people in the film community, because it's a growing film community. And there you were. And so they brought me in as a church planter. I've been going mm. to school, uh, and yeah, I am ordained uh, as a pastor, but I don't go around you know, throwing that around. So David so. is an evangelist. He can really teach. 
he, he can teach. Um, and I'm being braggadocious on purpose because I'm proud of you. Here you are, how you've mixed, integrated your showbiz talents, all your wisdom with your ministry. And that's how Revelation Studios has been right. brought about, right? right. That's, that's in, what they call integrity. You know, it's integration. So I'm in integrating everything. So I have kids at my studio, which we'll show you a clip later, of how we're making videos and movies. And some of these kids don't, aren't Christian, mm -hmm. but we get, show them the love of God, you know? Or the people that are around me aren't Christian, but we show them the love of God. And what are we supposed to do that Jesus called us? We're supposed to make disciples who make disciples. Thank you. Right? Make disciples. Make disciples who make disciples. Turn so, people into disciples. Uh, right. Spread and, the word. And we use our gifts, yeah. mine in the film industry, uh, to do that. And, and so I like to help people like you and just people that are into the arts to lift them up and help them use their gifts and show them that God gave them uh, the, not only the gift, but he gave them the ability to use that gift mm. and to have the faith in God that he's mm -hmm. going to do with you what he told you he's going to do. Mm. So Good word. At, at Revelation, uh, we make movies, we make TV shows, and we have radio, okay? One of the things we're doing is called Sunday Night Live. It's like Saturday Night Live, but it's a spoof on religion and That's politics. That's cute. I like that. But it's all to bring people back to let's think about God. Let's think about what, what the truth is, okay? In a non-denominational way. In a non-denominational way. And some of the best uh, uh, church going I ever had, your dad was a pastor, right? Yeah, I'm a preacher's kid. Aren't you, you a preacher's kid, no, too? No, I'm not a preacher's kid. Oh, I thought I'm, your dad I'm was the, a kid. I'm the son of the devil. Oh, but, no, uh, you're not. No, but I, I was we on the other that up in my, my Jesus' name. My wife was a preacher's kid, okay? I always told there her. I said, was. Yeah. Okay, so it's Shanita. It's Shanita, yeah. But I got my best preaching from people like Tony Curtis, Robert Reed of the Brady Bunch, uh, Martin Landau. I mean, all the what I call classic golden actors. I got my best preaching from these guys, and I didn't even know it. And that's why I brought that clip today. Let's show it. Let's show it. Because God said, I want you to pull this clip out. And it had, I, it's a movie I did with Tony Curtis and uh, Isaac Hayes and Robert Reed. It's the and last the name movie. Of it? He, it's, it's the last movie Robert did before he passed away. You know, mm. he was very sick. It's called Prime Target. Prime Target. David Hevener is John Bloodstone. A good cop with a bad attitude. So you want to go away, do you? Ah! You'll have a nice trip. We'd like you to transport Capella. Tony Curtis is Capella. A tough con with an easy style. This is my escort? You gotta be kidding. I'm not going anywhere with a guy dressed like that. Two men on opposite sides of the law. Lights on or off, what's it gonna be? Doesn't make any difference. You see any reading material? Shut up! You know you got a big mouth. That's all you got is a big... David Hevener, Jenny Lee Harrison, Isaac Hayes, Robert Reed, and Tony Curtis. Prime Target. That was great. I'm scared of him, aren't you? He's a tough cowboy. That was fabulous. And I, I brought that, Lee, for a reason. Um, on this set, going back in time, how many people here have ever... Uh, look back at the past and go, you know what, that was God talking to me and I wasn't even listening at that mm, time. Yeah. And Tony and I spent so much time together and he told me things that, and I'm not going to go into if he was a Christian, I don't want to go into any of that, but him and Robert Reed, we had some good times together and Isaac Hayes. And so a lot of these guys, they brought things into my life that I believe were God-given. Mm -hmm. You know, don't you believe that God can bring things into your life by people that don't even know God? Absolutely. Yeah. I believe, and someone recently said, every person that comes into your life is either a blessing or a lesson. Wow, good. And so I believe that they were both to you. Yeah. They were teaching you lessons as well as a blessing to you. Right. And just showing God's love. You know, God I'm... is love. And like Freddie yeah. Poole, uh, she's my friend who sings with us. Supreme, she did the show, and she said... Yeah. 
if you have love, it's God. God is love. Right, right. You know, God is love. He's the creator of love. Right. And what better way for people like us in the industry to show people love, especially people we work with that aren't, uh, you know, so-called Christians, yes. you know, or we're in the midst or of, in the midst of yeah, we're on the and, fr and, front lines right here. And we just show them love. That's it. Because we, we have that platform. God has mm -hmm. given us that platform. Yeah. But, you know, so many times we want to hide it or we want to misuse it. And I say, no, now's the time we have to step out. That's right. And we're going to show, number one, love, That's which it. is what Christ showed people, love. Mm -hmm. Now, as we get closer and the Holy Spirit guides, we can share the gospel. And little, little by little. Little by little. Because nothing runs people away faster than beating them over the head with the Bible. Oh, yeah. Nothing turns people off more. Right. And God's love, little by little. And just doing the right thing and being kind and giving and that's really right. sincere and caring, right. especially in the darkness of Hollywood. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, yeah. We have about three minutes left. Oh, uh, and I want to show video. your happy birthday yeah. video. Okay. David just produced this with his... It, Oh, I'll let yeah. you introduce oh, it. Thank you, because I get so excited about this. It's, it's called, so adorable. It's called David Heavener and All God's Children. You watch out. We're going to be the new sensation. It's all the kids at my studio, young kids, that help direct it and write it. And there's one girl, 14-year-old girl. Her name is Sierra Isley, and she has helped me so much. She's edited. She's she's young, 14-year-old gal. And uh, I wrote the song, but we all had a good time putting it together and just having a real fun time. And this song's special because, you know, the original Happy Birthday song, uh, the, I think it's the Beatles or Michael Jackson gets all the money. It's copyrighted. But I want this song to be the first Happy Birthday Christian song dedicated to God. That's Amen. what I want. Let's touch and agree when, on that. When people say yes. Happy Birthday, I want them to say it in the love of God, and I want them to sing it to, to Christ once a year. And his studio now, I mean, I can't believe he's only been in Atlanta a short time. What, about a year now? Yeah, about six or months. Or less yeah. than a year. And yeah. he already has a studio and has everybody performing, and it's amazing. Anyway, it, can we see his Happy Birthday video that he just fresh off the press? Happy birthday Someone light the candles Make a wish for goodness sake Blow them out so we can eat The ice cream and the cake Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Today we celebrate your special life Happy birthday A Today you're one year older But hey, don't you fret Cause each year you grow older The better looking you get Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Today we celebrate your special life Happy birthday Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Today we celebrate your special life Oh, happy birthday to you Happy birthday is true We just want to say Happy birthday
That is such a fun, happy song. I love it, love it, love it. And David has six children. Two are here. One is Brent and another one in the audience. Uh, that's not Liberty. What is uh, it? No, Adina. D Adina. 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 So great to have you here. Six wonderful children. His beautiful wife, Shanita, is not here. And I'm just excited with what the Lord is doing in your life. And now I've got about one more minute to, to get out everything I have to say. Um, where can people find you? Yes, I, you, can, you can find me at david at davidhevener.com, david at davidhevener.com, and uh, you can always Google my name. Uh, my website's davidhevener.com, but if you email me directly, I will put you on the list for the star page on Revelation when it launches. Good job, and Hevener is just like spelled heaven, like heaven with an E-R, all right? Now, I'd like to close with our RSVP prayer. For those of you who um, have not accepted Jesus personally, if you're not sure that you have a guaranteed seat in heaven, we always like to end the show and give you the opportunity. God invites everybody through the Bible, and he said that everyone has to RSVP out of their own mouth so he can write your name on his list and guarantee you a seat. So, yes, he has a big book called the Lamb's Book of Life, and he wants to write your name in it. So if you would join my hand, and let's pray with the viewing audience to guarantee your seat in heaven. Let's close out with this wonderful prayer. Just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father in Jesus name, Jesus' name, I come to you as sinner. I come to you as a sinner. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. And cleanse me of all unrighteousness. And cleanse me of all unrighteousness. I believe. That Jesus is the Christ. That Jesus is the Christ. The Son of the Living God. The Son of the Living God. Who died for me. Who died for and me. Arose for me. And arose for so me. So that I can spend eternity with you. So that I can spend eternity with you. Please put my name in your book. Put my name in your book. Reserve me a seat. Yes. Me a seat. As I follow you all the days of my life. To follow you all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you've prayed that prayer for the first time, I'd love to hear from you, leebenton.org. And again, you can find my fabulous guest, davidhevener.com. David at davidhevener.com. David at davidhevener.com. And David, what a blessing it is to have you here. And we want to have you back because we know you, you've Lee. got more victory stories to tell. Yes, thank but you. thank you for carving out time and being with us today, you and your, your two wonderful children. And God bless you on your victory road. You're on it. And we just want to be praying for you and lifting you up as you cover us too. Amen. Thank you for being here. God thank bless you. you. God bless you. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Everybody has a story to tell. How you got to heaven when you came from hell. Now I'm an overcomer. Rising like the sun, breaking the chains that held me bound, hearing that voice believe.